Hi, my name is James Spear. I'm with Sundance Media Group, and today we're going to talk about the Seagull ET camera and the H520 and the SD16 and how they all blend together. A few things you're going to notice when you power on the H520 and the Seagull ET is that it's going to show you both the 1080p low light and a thermal image. A few of the settings, a few of the menu settings, and a few of the, the palette settings, and a few of the other camera settings, we're going to cover that right now. So here, if you look on the screen, you're going to see that we actually have a 1080p and the thermal as a picture-in-picture. -picture. We can quickly change that by going into the menu settings and changing that to blend. With blend, what you're going to do is you're going to have a 1080 with a thermal overlay. It's going to have both images over the top of each other. One of the nice features with this is that as a thermal imager, it is a detection only. But using the blend with the 1080p and the thermal imaging, you can actually become more of an identification for law enforcement, search and rescue, and other types of environments where you need to identify what you're looking at with the thermal. One of the things you can also do is change the opacity. By changing the opacity, you can see that we can now put the 1080p through the, through the thermal and be able to see the thermal imager and the 1080p to increase our identification properties. We can also change the palette. By changing the palette to whatever the user wants to use it as, it's not required for any particular type of inspection or search and rescue or law enforcement application, the palette is completely up to the user. Say I wanted to do black hot. Black hot is going to show anything that has heat as a black image. So if I turn the opacity back up, you'll see that now that what we're looking at with the thermal camera is in a black, everything else is faded to white. If I change that to white hot, you'll see that everything has changed. So anything that was hot is now white. Anything that is ambient is now black. It is now showing what you're looking at. We can change the opacity and you can see that I am still looking at that same object that we were looking at moments ago. A few of the other things we can change is the range. So when you're using a thermal imaging system, you want to have a range of temperatures set. So you want to have a top range and a bottom range so that you, you kind of flush out all of the, the negatives. Here you'll see that we can, we can set it to a victim, a suspect, a house fire, a home energy inspection, evidence, solar, gases, electrical leak, warm objects, and then a gas vapor and a gas. A few of the other settings that we have are changing the ROI. So using a single point pixel like we had just a second ago, we'll show you the image of the single point temperature, and then using a center, we'll show you the temperature of many objects within that center area. And the image, if you look right there, it'll say 5.5C. That is the single point pixel. If we change that to center area, you'll see that it changes that entire thing to 17.8, showing that there is a heat signature there of 17.8 degrees Celsius. Thank you for watching. I'm James Spear with Sundance Media Group. Please stay tuned for more videos about unique and other UAV products as they come available. And please subscribe to our channel by clicking here.